welcome into the atmosphere of truth and justice of the word of God by God's servants, your friend, your brother, evangelist, Esther David. Today, I want to share a brief message with you concern what you must know about sanctification what do you need to know about sanctification the bible says without sanctification nobody can see the lord without sanctifying ourselves we cannot see the father that means you can be very talented skillful full with all good works you can be full with every good things and you can be doing good to people and people can identify you with themselves as someone that's doing good they can even give you applause rate you the way they want it but if your life is not sanctified at the major of the scripture if your life is not rated the way the scale of heaven wanted it my brother and my sister all our works everything we are doing on earth is something that will be without reward the reward of our sanctification is that is there is a time set ahead of force that we're gonna be crowned There is, a, there is a time ahead of us sit already that we are going to be crowned but what is the price what is that thing that going to give us that crown it's true our good words also are inside the skill and the talent all those things are inside but they are part they are one part of it but the major work the major thing that can offer us that reward is when all those work all those talent and skill and everything those hands that we that what you lend to people will be passed through the fire will be passed through the fire will be rated on the scale of the balance of justice of truth of sanctification to see whether truly we deserve the reward and I used to say this that sanctification we have sanctification in three dimensions we have the sanctification of our soul the sanctification of our flesh and the sanctification of our spirits the sanctification of our spirits is the one 
that the Lord Jesus Christ himself have done for us in the times of Adam and Eve by restoring back by restoring a life our spirit man praise master Jesus by then we must know this that if our spirit man will not be regenerated by the work of Christ Jesus how will you think how you and I will think that we can cope we can survive we can get eternal reward with our flesh and our soul that's the reason why that's the main reason why Christ Jesus came alright and he did was all ever he can do to give us back that key of salvation by regenerating our spirits back to life and then he gave us the key that will help us as spiritual being living on earth to have total dominion total power control over things that God created over God creations to dominate over them with the regeneration spirit that come alive in us so you and I can operate in the dimension of the spirit so you and I can operate in the dimension of the sanctification of this of the total sanctification that the real nature of our Christ Jesus the perfection not the perfection so this morning I'm calling your intention to live the type of life the Zoe life of our Christ Jesus the life of Christ is full with understanding full with principle full with rules and regulations and if we refuse to abide ourselves to the rules and regulations of the ties of lives of Christ Jesus do you think that you can survive that you can survive you can get that eternal reward so Christ giving us access dominion to have power to exercise authority over our body which is our flesh and our souls to compare them to obey the voice of the spirit in us how can we come to that level of putting our body and our soul in a subjection to the spirits it is when we recognize that we are very weak and we need strength and we need help my brother my sister Jesus Christ know that the work he did for us at the salvation which is the regeneration of our spirit he know that if we want to interfere in our choice of daily daily dealing with our body and our soul's affairs we we'll feel it embarrassed we we'll feel it as an embarrassment but 
he gave us the gap that we ourselves should go and think and should make a choice of how we want our life to be but he said the key is already in your hand will you use it or will you abandon it that's where the most important things is now how are you thinking about your eternal reward will you use the key given to you will you set yourself on the fire will you abandon all those pleasure of this perfect earth to hold unto the eternal reward listen to me my brother and my sister the sanctification of your soul and your body isn't in your hand but the thing you need is that you should acknowledge the power of the father you should acknowledge the power of the father by telling him father I can't do it alone I can see the way you are striving I can see the way you are battling you are doing all manner of things to get there you rise today and tomorrow you fall you rise tomorrow and next tomorrow you fall down why because there is no spirit there is no power there's no forces that is backing you up you are working at the rate of your mind of your capacity intellectually you are working with your skill with your talent you told with your strength you can overcome but the bible said no one overcome it if he doesn't submit his will to the father acknowledging your weaknesses to the father asking him to come and dwell in you to take your lord away and should give you what you needed that's what the father wants from you so my brother and my sister what you need is not the sanctification that you are doing today and tomorrow you fall down no the sanctification that you need is pulling your heart down to the father asking him to come in to take total control of your heart it's being sincere towards him telling him father i'm tired i don't want to continue with that sin again i don't want to continue with that lie why is always me father why is always me asking for him to help you daily asking him father i need you lord no man can prevail without him no man can come to can come across to the tunnel to the tunnel reward without passing by the narrow way where you will face all manner of disappointment all manner of shame bear my brother will you abandon or will you hold on how are you working on your sanctification we are the end of everything and we need to keep our body sanctified every day i 
at any moment the trumpet can sound my brother are you ready as you are hearing my voice right now are you ready on top of that lady while you are thinking how you are going to receive accommodator how you are going to pay that oh Jesus have mercy in your closeness in that office where you are thinking how you are going to change the figure when the trumpet sound now will you go sanctification of your body sanctification of your soul sanctification of your mouth of your eyes of your ears of your foot of your belly of your nose your entire body my brother and my sisters the Bible says it's only what you sow that you can reap only what you sow that you can reap what are you sowing are you sowing a good seed for eternal reward via your sanctification every day or you are sowing a seed of eternal death my brother may God help us you have heard the voice of God's servants, evangelists, Esca David. I pray for you this morning that may heaven, as you call on him, help you through and deliver you in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Amen.